Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna to talk about the NFL Scouting Combine. It's finally here. And this is serious, all right? Here we go, cat mode time. So I'm gonna give you my watch list. A couple of players um, you might be familiar with, some you, you may not be familiar with. And that's why I tweeted this yesterday, you know. A lot of the mock drafts leading up to the Scouting Combine is the same name, same names. So my goal here is to to give you some new names now you know to watch over the next couple of days at the scouting combine. Okay, so lots of studying. You know, over the last couple of weeks, I've got a, a, a short list <clears throat> of of my notes here, and uh, I'm just gonna give you a couple of guys here. Obviously, there's a lot more safeties and corners. I'm not really getting into because I think that. Uh, I think the Cowboys are gonna look at all of them. You know, and it's hard to, to really single out, you know, a few here and there. But uh, expect the Cowboys to be in business for cornerback, especially with some of the writing on the wall that we're seeing with uh, with Byron Jones. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into some of these names here that you guys will want to take notice in these drills and the news that comes out of the scouting combine. Right. So um, I'm gonna look at wide receivers first off. I'm going to go over a couple guys, okay? Uh, guys that I really like. Van Jefferson out of Florida. 6'3", 215 pounds. I think this guy uh, runs really well. Um, his route running, his feet are really good. I think he's really underestimated. You're not really hearing too much of him. You're hearing more about, you know, these top-end guys of who might follow the Cowboys. Jerry, Judy, CeeDee Lamb, this and that. These guys I'm talking about <clears throat> are wide receivers that the Cowboys may have more interest in and, and more of a realistic possibility, you know, <clears throat> in the second round and later. So Van Jefferson's one. Michael Pittman out of UFC, uh, out of USC, sorry. Uh, he's 6'3 as well, 209. Um, you know, just I like the way he plays. He can uh, high point the ball and he can get going with it after the catch. Uh, Jalen Rager out of TCU is another one. Um, It'll be interesting to see what his measurements are. Is he 5'10", is he 5'11"? What is he? Uh, but he's gonna run really fast. So if you're looking for somebody to, to add into the mix, somebody with speed, somebody that can play in the slot and, and really tear you up, Jalen Rager's the guy. Everybody's talking about Henry Ruggs, Henry Ruggs. Jalen Rager is is your is your 1B when you're looking at, at this type of guy, okay? Another player that I like, Tyler Johnson out of Minnesota, the Gophers. Um, a solid player, a tough player, and um, I like I like what he's done. I know I've watched three games of him, um, and, and he really popped off for me. And he's at the combine, so watch him. Let's see what he does. I'm interested to see what his speed is. What, how is he going to look in these drills? He's going to look fast. Is he going to run a four five? Is he going to run a four four? Okay, so it'll be interesting to see what he runs. But either way. Solid player. Okay, defensively, uh, Marlon Davidson out of Auburn. You know, not too many people are talking about him. I like him a lot. I think he's right there with, uh, you know, with with Brown. You know, also from Auburn. These two guys were a menace and uh, virtually unblockable. Uh, Marlon Davidson, I think, is uh, the same kind of Auburn type of mauler. You know, we're talking about. Brown, you're talking about Davidson, even Jay Ratliff when he was there a couple years ago, if you remember him. These are the same types of players, man. They're just, uh, they get after the guys, good motor. I like him. Uh, another player that people aren't really talking about that I like, you know, um, Jabari Zuniga out of Florida. Let's, just, let's see how he looks. I think he's been very underrated in this early going. Nobody's really talking about him. I like him. Uh, Jabari Zuniga, defensive end out of Florida, the Gators. Okay, check him out. Uh, Bradley Anai out of Utah, an edge rush type of player out of the Utes, Utah. Uh, he'll be one to look at. And um, these are just some names that not too many people have heard of right now. But this combine may elevate some of these players into uh, earlier rounds than what they're being projected at. Okay. <coughs> Defensive tackle. <clears throat> Obviously, you're hearing all, all the same names. Uh, Ross Blaylock <clears throat> out of TCU. I like him. He's a big plugger. 
uh, but he can play the run. He can bring the pressure as well. Uh, Jordan Elliott is a player. He's more of my pet cat type of player out of Missouri. I like the way he can penetrate and, um, you know, plays for loss. And this guy is very, uh, is very disruptive. All right, and this is what we need. You know, we need that. We need disruptive play from the middle. And these guys that we're talking about, they do it. If you're looking for more of a one tech specialist, uh, Lakey Fotu out of Utah as well. <clears throat> and that's really how I found uh, Bradley and I, <laughs> the edge rusher. I was looking at Fotu <clears throat> and I, I, this Bradley and I, the edge guy out of Utah caught my eye. And that's, that's the reason why I'm talking about him. But Lakey Fotu, your one tech, big plugger type of guy. He'll really help you out. You know, if you're going to make that transition at one point to you know a three four but if still if you're you're we're playing uh you know four three or a, a nickel this guy he's gonna give you a, a presence there you know it's gonna be hard to run on us and he'll help collapse collapse the pocket okay um some tight ends that, that, that i'm looking at jared pickney out of vanderbilt i like him cole comment out of notre dame these are more these two guys are in line tight ends um, and they will catch the ball and they can block as well. Um, Harrison Bryant, <clears throat> Florida, FAU. He, he's uh, one guy that uh, will be there with, with Trotman. Um, but I think I like I think I like Harrison Bryant more. I think he's more of your new age type of tight end. Where you're talking about, a, you know, a Kelsey or a George Kittle. He, he's that type of line. Uh, he's that type of. Uh, tied in all right hunter bryant from uh washington he's a, he's another one he's more of an h back but he'll he'll get out there and make plays for you he's got some speed i'll be looking for the for these guys all right so just a couple of names guys <clears throat> we'll see how how everything pans out like i said the combine some people will drop some people aren't aren't gonna aren't even gonna um participate in the drills delpit has announced he's not gonna participate you know, I don't like that. Um, is there something there? Well, let's, let's see if medicals come out clean on him. Um, I still like the player, but I don't like that, that some of these players aren't, aren't going to participate. Um, you know, you're going to have, you're probably going to have somebody tear a, uh, a peck. It always happens. Every year somebody tears something on, on the bench. We'll see what happens there with that. You know, could it be a star player? Do they do they drop in the draft because of it? It's not good though. When you when you get a peck like that, it takes a while. You know, we've seen several um, high-profile players, you know, tear a peck. You know, and they're gone most of the season. You know, um, but we'll see what happens there. Hopefully, everybody comes out of the drills clean, no issues, no uh, injuries, nothing like that. We want these players to succeed and look good. And uh, you know, some names are starting to come out as far as who the Cowboys have interest in. I'll have that video coming out soon. But uh, let me know what you guys think of these guys. My wide receivers, my defensive ends, defensive tackles, and, uh, you know, tight ends. You know, and like I said, uh, cornerbacks, I think they'll be looking at all of them. Uh, linebackers, didn't cover them so much. But, you know, if, if you want to get a good one, you probably have to go a little bit early. It's not that deep, in my opinion, but I think it is a, a need for the Cowboys. So, you know, while you're at it, you know, keep an eye on these linebackers. All right, there are some good ones here in the, that you can get in the first uh, two rounds. Three might be stretching it, but first two rounds, <clears throat> there will be some good linebackers. All right, uh, Patrick Queen's a good one. Murray out of Oklahoma, he's a good one. Um, you know, there's several out there. Uh, that uh, will, will garner some interest. But that's all I have right now, guys. Let me know what you guys think of the combine. Continue to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys for the next video. Peace, everybody.